Hi, I'm Professor Dave Nasevich from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Um, my laboratory broadly focuses on the use of simple organic dyes to discover and invent new chemical reactions that have a lot of interesting and useful applications to a number of different fields. Um, my students are going to talk a little bit more detail about some of those potential applications and so I hope you find this video informative. Hi, my name is Nate Romero. In the Nasevich lab, we make organic molecules, and our approach to doing this is called photoredox catalysis, which is just a fancy way of saying that we use light to make cool molecules. Now, to understand how we're able to do this, let's break down the word photoredox catalysis. It has three important parts, photo, redox, and catalysis. All reactions require energy, such as heat or light, but a catalyst is something that's able to decrease the amount of energy needed for a reaction to occur. So the great thing about catalysts are that with a single molecule of catalyst or a piece of catalyst, we can make hundreds or thousands or millions of the molecules that we are interested in. But redox reactions are a type of reaction that involve the transfer of electrons, the red being reduction and the ox being oxidation. A reduction provides electrons and an oxidant um, takes away the electron. Now the photo is the part that ties everything together. Photo refers to light and when our catalyst absorbs light it becomes a very strong oxidant and it can take an electron away from a molecule that's normally not very reactive. For example, one of the projects I worked on used photoredox catalysis to take two molecules that would normally just sit together in a flask and actually join them together into a single molecule. And this method could be used to make drugs or other drug-like compounds. And using this same strategy, our friend Nick here was able to make aniline. They are also important molecular building blocks for many, from which many other um, more complex molecules can be built. And as Jeremy can tell you, we can also use photoredox catalysis to trim off one one particular part of a molecule without damaging the rest of it. One of the projects that I worked on is something called decarboxylation. And carboxylic acids, chemists can use these to design or make different molecules. However, they're not always desired in the final product. So our lab wanted to use photoredox catalysis to be able to remove these uh, carboxylic acids, releasing carbon dioxide as the only byproduct. Now these are just a few of the ways that we've used light to explore new chemical reactivity and we're constantly seeking to discover new reactions and improve on old ones. Ultimately we hope these tools that we've developed through photoredox catalysis can be useful to other chemists. Hi I'm Hudson. I've been working on thinking about how we can apply some of these methods to the synthesis of larger more complex molecules and specifically the molecule I'm trying to make has shown some anti-HIV properties and as a result has the potential to be used in treatment for this disease. So I hope you found that video informative and I hope that you see that there's a lot of potential in terms of using these catalytic systems to uh, build some complex molecules.